Well, with the Christmas and the New Year, a couple week hiatus from Chalk Talk, but what's better than playoff Chalk Talk? And I'll tell you, for one of the rare occasions, and I don't really remember the last time I gave a defensive breakdown. Typically, it's always offensive and offensive plays in Chalk Talk. But to be honest with you, there was very little offensive execution in Minnesota. The broken play to Tyler Lockett, the little sprint right touchdown pass to Doug Baldwin, those were executed well and were just enough to beat Minnesota. Uh, so we're going to focus a little bit on defense because I think it's defense that's going to carry this team if they are to win in Charlotte uh, this upcoming week against the 15-1 and Panthers. It's his defensive crew that's starting to play better and better. But I think, well, actually, I know you're going to see this play throughout because you saw it at the end of the game with Minnesota against Seattle, and you're absolutely going to see it from Carolina with Cam Newton and their tight end and what they want to do with their players' formations plays. So let's dig into what Minnesota did at the end of the game, getting their tight end Rudolph on Cam Chancellor. They want to get their tight end, much like Carolina is going to do, into a one-on-one -on -one situation. How do they do it formationally? This will be the number one formation you're going to see. In fact, when Greg Olson scored his touchdown 30 seconds to go in that win over Seattle in CenturyLink Field, it was the exact same formation. The exact same formation that Cam Chancellor got beat on on the scene pass interference was the same exact kind of concept. Now, it was different. It was zone coverage, and that's where Earl and Richard busted in their zone coverage. This is man coverage. Coverage, but you will absolutely see this formation. You won't see it once, you won't see it twice. You're going to see the three by one set an awful lot in Charlotte on Sunday because Carolina's best weapon, their tight end Greg Olson, is going to get after and going to test Cam Chancellor. What do the Seahawks do on this pass interference? I found it very telling is this personnel group and this defense has grown with the Seahawks this year. You will see this front likewise. Much like Carolina is going to get to their three by one set, I promise you the Seahawks are going to get to what they're going to call their bear front. This is the old school Chicago Bears where you cover everybody up on that defense and on that offensive line and you get one on ones and you play man and man free behind it and you will see this against Carolina. Why? Well, this formation and this personnel as it's grown puts a lot of speed on the field with Bruce Irvin, who's had some of his best games against Carolina. So he's, and this is all five man rush against five protect. KJ right on the other side coming off the edge. Two fast, athletic, long guys. And when you're facing Cam Newton, you have got to keep him, excuse me, number one, you have got to keep him right in the center of the pocket. What else does this front do? Well, it puts Cliff Averill on a guard. It puts Michael Bennett on a center. And it puts big, powerful Frank Clark on another guard. It's a five-on-five -five rush. And in this look against Minnesota, Bobby Wagner comes on the blitz. And you get tremendous pressure against Teddy Bridgewater. Now, the vulnerability, and you're going to see it Sunday, and you saw it in this matchup and this is where this guy is going to have to come to play players formations plays cam chancellor is going to have to make more plays he's got to play better he's got to do a better job in his one-on-one -on -one coverage whether that's the out route whether that's the same route whether that's the corner route because it's going to be he and greg olson and he's going to play a major factor and i won't be surprised if little earl thomas at times buzzes and gives him a little bit more help on this play there wasn't a lot of help on this play it was one-on-one -on -one. richards in press coverage lanes in press coverage sheds and off coverage eliminate this side of the field and all you're seeing was teddy bridgewater in a one-on-one -on -one with a flat-footed cam chancellor that's having a hard time getting in and out of his break and he's got to. He's got to be healthier, he's got to be fresher, and he's got to be faster on Sunday in Charlotte if this team is going to win against this personnel group, against this formation, which you will see with Carolina.